Okay, we'll try this video again. If you hear bleeps, it's my friends trying to face with me. Okay. This is a very important video. It's about the kingdom. What the kingdom really is. Now, what's going through your head now? The word kingdom. You see, I live in the United Kingdom, UK, albeit it's not so united, especially when they play rugby against each other, like Wales, Scotland, Ireland and England. Joke. But, you see, the word kingdom means domain. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been hurt to my heart about people I've been trying to help for the last three years explaining what the kingdom is. And they still do YouTube videos saying the kingdom is something just within you. The King James is responsible for this, Luke 17:21. Now we have to read the context of that and go up to verse 20 of Luke 17. Luke 17, 20. When demanded by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come. Okay? They were sort of um, plying him with questions. Verse 21 of Luke 17. The Messiah said, The kingdom of God does not come with striking excuse me, observation. Then the KJV says this, for look, the kingdom of God is within you. Now, come on. Let's get real here. Would the Messiah have said to the hypocritical leaders who he scathed later on, calling them offspring of vipers, etc., the kingdom of God is within you? It's a bad translation. In fact, if you go back to Luke and read the previous chapters, that's the own research, the Messiah made clear, right, that the kingdom of God had overtaken these people because they were looking for signs, and yet he, as the royal ambassador of the kingdom, the representative of the Father, was in their midst. And that's the correct translation of Luke 17, 21. Not within you. Look, the kingdom of God, me, the prince, is in your midst. But you don't recognize it because you're asking for signs, Pharisees. Okay, back to the previous question. What is the kingdom of God to you? Something just within you? <sighs> a nice feeling? Well, why don't you become a Buddhist? personal question. Read Daniel 7 very carefully, for example. Someone like a son of man was brought to the presence of the Ancient of Days, the Father Yahuwah, and to this glorified man was given dominion, kingdom, that people's national groups should all serve even him. And it goes on in Daniel to say that the kingdom is given to the people, the holy people, which correlates to Revelation 5, 9 and 10. The Father says there, through the angel, You made them, the ones you bought from all mankind, you made them to be a kingdom of priests and kings, and they will rule on the earth. Does that sound like something within you? The Messiah spent all his life in his ministry, the last three and a half years of his life, preaching what? The good news of the kingdom. In fact, in Acts chapter 1, is it verse 7? When he was ascending in the presence of 500 witnesses, right? They asked him a question, Lord, 
are you restoring the kingdom to Israel at this time? And he said, well, it doesn't belong to you to get to know the dates and times. The Father has his own authority, jurisdiction. From that one verse, you know the Messiah preached about restoration of the kingdom on earth. Matthew 5 verse 5, the meek shall inherit the earth. If you have a concordance, do a word search on kingdom and compare that to people who say it's something just within you and you'll, you'll realize these people are totally, absolutely lost. They cannot help you. Because, as Messiah said, they do not know the sacred secrets of the kingdom. The disciples said, why do you, Lord, speak to the crowd in illustrations? He said, well, to you it is granted to know the sacred secrets of the kingdom, but to the outsiders it's not. I use illustrations because, although hearing, they will not hear. Although seeing, they will not see. In other words, they didn't go further. Many were stumbled at the words of Messiah. The kingdom is the royal authority of Messiah to restore what Adam threw away. Adam was supposed to be in charge of the earth. He was given dominion over the animals. The last Adam, note that point, came to restore all things. Then next to the end, first Corinthians fifteen, last few verses, when he has brought to uh, subjection the last enemy death, the Messiah will hand back the kingdom to his father, Yahuwah. Do a word search on kingdom and decide for yourself whether you want to accept it's a real government, Isaiah 9, and verse 6 onwards, on the shoulders of Mashiach Messiah, or just something happy-clappy inside of you. Shalom.